Yeah, we started. <laughs> I'm pulling it up on my phone, but what's up, guys? I've got Doug Botten here, one of our 750 CEO clients. Absolute baller. Uh, has helped so many people get their affiliate uh, programs off the curb. Affiliate programs. Uh, help people generate money through affiliates and also help people with sales funnels and all that good stuff. And uh, he is uh he went from six hundred dollars in his bank account to doing over a half million dollars uh since we met uh which is pretty dope and uh he's basically like me but just like a year and a half behind so i'm super stoked <laughs> the growth that's gonna happen but doug thank you so much for being here man yeah i appreciate having me brother yeah um i'm just pulling it up on my phone right now uh, and actually, I still need to send out the broadcast to everybody. Um, but we, it looks like we have a few people here. We got 11 people on. If you guys get any value out of this uh, along the way, hit that heart button, hit that like button. Uh, Doug is here to answer any of your questions, any and all of your questions. So drop them down below. Uh, and Doug, uh, I don't think I did you, did you enough justice on describing your business. So uh, tell us what you do in your own words. Yeah, absolutely. So I help uh, aspiring entrepreneurs create six-figure businesses online without creating and selling their own products and services. So um, it's been exciting. It's been real fun to help people that are just starting out that are afraid to make their own products and services right now, find other products that they align with and promote those first so you can gain those skills so you could later on have a better launch of your own products and services. I love it. And you started all of this with a Facebook group and you started it um, before we met. Uh, and you were big into the ClickFunnels community and grew it that way. Um, and uh, then we met, you joined Authority Accelerator and what, what happened from there? Oh man. So yeah, I was probably, I had my Facebook group going and I was about to launch a course and I was gonna build the whole thing out and then sell it. And on our call, uh, when we were connecting for the first time uh, face to face on video, um, you mentioned I should do it differently, and I did. And uh, I think on our call that day, I, I I think it said 600 on the here, but I think it was more like, it was less than 500, because I remember a deposit of 500, I didn't even have it. And I'm like, you know, I have to get groceries this week, I have to do this and that. And you're like, dude, just go and outline your course, launch it, sell the beta. And I think we did like $34,000 uh, on that, like two weeks later. So I went from like literally just about to go back to my restaurant job to multiple five figures in a matter of two weeks, which was just amazing. Life changing for sure. <laughs> yeah. And I think one of the cool things that you do is you rack up recurring affiliate income as well, yeah. uh, mainly through, through click funnels affiliates, but I'd love for you to share kind of your secret sauce behind how you're racking up those affiliates and the recurring payments and, and what you do yeah. there with your Facebook group. Yeah, I know a lot of people in this group are, you know, you have a very diverse group here. It's people that are just starting out, all the people that have seven figure business already. And even if you're at seven figures, you're leaving a lot of money on the table by not promoting tools and resources that your audience and clients could benefit from and you make reoccurring commissions. So, um, for example, like right now, my affiliate income really funds my entire business, including my um, my my new team and my living expenses. And I have a lot of fun, so they're high. Um, but that my affiliate money covers all that. So everything I sell that's my own products and services now is all pure profit, which is really awesome because it's digital, you know, and um, we made it once and we sell over and over again and we improve it and we sell it more for more money. So um, I encourage anyone watching this, if you are, already successful business owner, you should be taking advantage of tools and resources that you're using and you're loving, might as well recommend them to your people in your programs and your courses. So for example, um, in my Facebook group, when you join that, I ask you, do you have click funnels or what other tools do you have? So I want to find out what people that say no to that, we start a sales conversation. And if you don't want to allocate the resources to start these conversations, because you know you're not going to do that most likely, um, I tell you right now, it's so worth it to have someone just reach out and ask that question uh, and let them know where they could find that affiliate link when they're ready for it, which is on my resources tab. So just having these resources on a resources page on the website, a module mm -hmm. in your Facebook group or a module in your course or your program. Um, you know, I started with ClickFunnels and now I have like six tools I refer to people and every new person in my program they're using these tools. So they're really awesome. I love them. I don't sell anything I don't use myself. So mm -hmm. 
That's so good. So mm -hmm. can I ask how much do you have on reoccurring commissions through just affiliates using your Facebook group and messenger? Uh, yeah. So I would say at least 20 K a month in the affiliate recurring commissions. Yeah. Yeah. And I love the tip that you gave there, which is like put a section inside of your Facebook group dedicated to resources that you, you use, you love and have those affiliate links there for them. Yeah. And when you, when you talk about, we all talk about trainings in our groups and we refer to these tools, always let them know where they could find it. Like people don't do this because they feel like it takes too much time, but all it takes is a simple call to action saying, Hey, like here's this tool and then you can move on. Like just let them know where they could find the link when they're ready for it. And I think people remember that like all my links are in my welcome post. It's like the first thing they see when they join the group and they'll remember that that's where they are when they're ready for them. I love it. Yeah. Um, so we started working together about a year and maybe four months ago. Start with Authority Accelerator. Uh, you were the first person into Authority Accelerator Elite, which then became Seven Figure CEO. You went all in, paid in full, which was dope. Uh, <laughs> and just tell me about that that experience over the past year and four months or so. Like, Oof. what have been the big uh, growth factors? What have re what has really moved you forward the most? Like what has the past little over a year been like? Yeah, it's been a ride. Um, it's been really amazing. I never thought I'd be here. Um, when I started my Facebook group in January, 2019, I was negative in my bank and I never hid that. I told my group like, here's where I'm at. I want this group to work, but I have a choice. I go back to the restaurant and work 60 hours. I'm never gonna have time to give you guys value or you know, I could go out and, and make something happen. So I started out selling click funnels and one funnel away challenge and did really well, hit dream car in like 66 days. But then I wanted to do something more. I wanted to like have my own product or service to sell. And that's where Andrew came in and told me to do it the right way. Um, the way I was gonna do it is probably gonna take me months to build. It was gonna fail or, or not, I'm not say it was gonna fail, but it could have because I'm not getting the feedback the right way that he taught me how to launch your first program yourself. So um, my biggest takeaway was really like finding someone who's just ahead of me, like a year and a half or so ahead of me and follow exactly what they're doing. Because even if you're thinking you're doing the smart thing and just watching what they're doing, and you're like, I don't need to hire them because I'm just gonna watch what they're doing. There's so much stuff behind the scenes that just blew my mind that really took my business to the next level. So um, yeah, here's the thing, like when we met, your you know, um, your program was the more than my car was worth. <laughs> like seriously, like I, I didn't have the five hundred dollars for the deposit, but I made it happen from one piece of advice you gave me. And then I did that and um, now, you know, I'm indebted. So I'm like, I gotta get this paid for. When you commit and you hire a mentor, something happens where you're like, okay, it's go time. Like I need to make something happen. Um, and yeah, $34,000 in a two week span was just, that's more than I made in the year before serving tables at a restaurant. And that's why I paid in full for your program. I'm like, this guy just helped me make more than what I made last year, bartending and serving. So this investment in this program, like 90 days, what that did for me, like, I now get to work with this guy for a year and his team, like absolutely all in. And that's why I did that. Um, and that was probably the scariest moment of my life, like putting out that much money, especially when I was still in student loan debt. That could have been, you know, payment towards my student loans, but my student yeah. loans are teaching me how to go out there and start a business, you know? So yeah, just something, something that happened, um, you know, now here we are talking not a little over a year later and half a million dollars in the business made is just incredible. I never thought that would have happened. So I love it. Yeah. And one, one thing that you added on top of that was a really awesome five day challenge structure, mm -hmm. which yeah. we, we did a five day challenge before we didn't really teach how to do it. And you went out and on your own with, with many chat and with your Facebook group, created this really awesome five day structure, uh, five day challenge structure. And was generous enough to share it with all of the seven figure CEO members. And now we have this awesome training in seven figure CEO with a five day challenge. But tell us about that. Like you've, you've done it twice, correct? Or um, three times. Well, three times. The first time I did it, I launched a higher ticket program, which is awesome. But um, I didn't feel comfortable doing that again because I'm, I'm still working with that first group of people. And I didn't want to bring in other people until our um, time is like, like they feel complete. And um, yeah. so instead, the second and the third time, my fourth one's coming up next week, um, we're selling my core offer for 997. Mm -hmm. So the cool thing is like, you know, um, beforehand, I would, people would join my Facebook group and I would send them to a free course to get some information. They would know, like, and trust me. And then there's an upsell in that free course members area. 
And that's worked really well up until now. But what, like, and I teach that method. So there's a lot of people out there doing that now. And you see, like when I first met you, like the big thing was a free PDF download. And yeah. those are still awesome, but they become known. And people are like, oh, it's just another PDF, right? That I'm not gonna look at, or maybe I will, who knows? Um, then the free course, like I'm like, what can I give for free? Like what are people paying for that I could do for free and give that value? But now you're seeing everyone do the free course strategy. And I still do that. It works really amazing. And that's what I teach. But uh, this five day challenge has taken my business to the next level because um, instead of just doing a webinar once a week, what we do is once a month, we have a five day workshop. It's a challenge. I call it a workshop because also I think challenges are kind of the, the name is like very redundant. And eventually it will have to change to something new, new strategy. Right. But um, right now, the, the five day workshop, the five day challenge, whatever you want to call it, is really like taking my business to the next level. So we spend four weeks promoting that next workshop. It's a free workshop. And then in that five days, they get to really see the value I'm giving for free. And they're like, holy shit, excuse my language. But like, what's going on here? Like, this is free. And then the fifth day, we make them offer and say, if you like what you've learned, there's a lot more to this. And we make them an offer for a core offer. And, um, you know, last round we sold 76 people into that core offer. And I didn't know if a payment plan, no payment plan was offered during that one. So that was pretty dope. <laughs> so awesome. 76 yeah. people at 997. And then there yeah. were some people that were a little bit, a little bit more. A little bit more because what I did is I closed the cart on that Friday and then I increased it by a hundred dollars per day for urgency and scarcity and I closed the cart for good on that Sunday. Mm -hmm. So some people paid up to uh one one nine seven for that program. I love it. Mm -hmm. Cool. We have a we have a couple of questions here, Doug. Um, we'll start with the most recent one. And actually let me turn on my comments here. If you guys have any questions, drop them down below for Doug. Uh, Marilyn Pope was asking, um, do you have a whole team at helping you pull this business together? Yes. Yeah, so thanks to Andrew. Uh, I've been so stubborn, guys. Um, I at one point told myself I'm going to make a million dollars on my own. Don't try to do that. You will burn <laughs> the heck out. You will burn your ass. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> there. All right. So uh, here's the thing. Um, Matt Andrew said, I'm going to build, I'm going to hit two comic club on my own. It's the stupidest idea I ever had. Um, yeah. So with Andrew's program, the whole thing is to take our business from six to seven figures without burning out. And to do that, we need a team. So I hired my first person who was, she was my right hand person and she's my online business manager. Now, um, when it comes to delegating, I have a hard, to this day, I still have a hard time delegating things. Like I, I not say I'm a perfectionist, but I like things done my way, but um, they're learning quickly. And, and it's such amazing when you get people to trust, like they really take that and they run with it. When you delegate the right way and you encourage them and empower them. So yeah, I have a team um, of my, my brother. He was an intern at one point. Now he's graduated college and now he's full time with me. I have my online business manager and my online business manager manages uh, three virtual assistants. So I don't actually pay them. I just pay my online business manager and her business takes care of them. So that's a real cool way I've um, got out of like doing all the payroll and that stuff kind of scared me to be honest. So, um, yes, I have a team of three, four, five people now, and I just hired my customer success coach who's going to help me manage all my clients now. Cause it's hard to do when I'm, my focus is content and growing the business through stuff like this and podcasts and virtual events. Um, and I can't do that if I'm trying to answer every question all my clients have every day. So, yeah. And I, I think that's a phase that everybody goes through where like they see other businesses from the outside. And like I went through it where I was like, I'm going to do everything myself. And then yeah. I went, out, went to a monastery, gave up caffeine for six months. And mm -hmm. then you start to realize that leveraging OPW, other people's work, is the best way to grow your business. Oh, yeah. And Doug is on that track now with five people on his team. And really the, the one quote that I got from James Friel that was really, really good. He just kind of said it offhand, but it's, um, you're not paying for the person's salary, you're buying your time back. Like you have to do all of these things in your business regardless. So why not find an A player or a brain that, that can do that piece of your business for you? So that's really the next step to scaling past seven figures uh, here for Doug and uh, yeah. it's super duper exciting. I want one of those things behind you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, dude, it is coming, my man. I'm not worried yeah. about it. Yeah. Um, and uh, Marilyn also asked, uh, what's what's 
what was that piece of advice? I forget what we were talking about there. Uh, you asked the one piece of advice that I've gotten out of working with you. It's just, it's the fact of just putting yourself out there and hiring someone who's done it before you, because it's, it's the shortcut. It really is. It might seem scary to put that much money on the line. And it was for me. Um, but when it comes back so much faster, unless if you don't do anything and then you're just yeah. dumb, I'm sorry. But <laughs> <laughs> um, if you invest in someone who's done it before you, they're not going to leave you hanging. They're going to, especially like Andrew's program. Like I've watched him grow along as well. Like um, watching you grow your team and seeing the things you're doing, your live events and your everything. It's, it's so inspiring. And uh, you really have coaches that I believe are the best in the business. Like every single one of them are the best at what they do. And I've just learned so much and there's still so much more to learn. And uh, I'm just, yeah, it's amazing. Super grateful. Thank you so much, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, doo -doo -doo. So we have some other questions here. Uh, Mindy is saying sometimes it feels like there is access to too much information. Yeah. So where would you say here is the absolute uh, start here to begin your Facebook group from uh, zero members information? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of information. Um, I think personally, Andrew's GGMB course is a great starting point because it breaks it down step by step. Um, and when you get an online course, right, you log in and you open it up and there's just like module after module after module and all these videos, that's intimidating. But the coolest thing about what, what I did in GGMB was it's step by step. It's like, here's a five minute video, here's the step and here's the worksheet, go and do it. Then you go into the next step. and literally if you're a, a getter you you are someone who's going to do it i think you could probably get through that course in a day or two honestly and just go through because it it's so it's no fluff and there's no storytelling it's just straight to the point what you need to do and you go and do it and then you're set so yeah i, I told you here there's a lot of information out there in this world online especially but um when you find someone who's a good course creator that's how it's done it's straight to the point uh simple is better someone there's a quote i'm trying to butcher this but uh perfect isn't keeping adding right it's what you taking away everything until it's perfect so the simpler the better mm -hmm. and maybe you know that oh, andrew you can say it better than me <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it definitely comes down to simplicity and and yeah. something that uh um like there's a different focus from zero to six figures and six figures to seven figures and now going from seven figures to eight figures there's a big different focus mm -hmm. um but i would say from zero to six figures it's just refining your craft, what you're really good at, what you want to help people with, um, and then finding awareness. So mm -hmm. finding where you're getting traction, finding where uh, you're getting eyeballs. So for me, it was I was running an agency, and I was good at that, and that's something that people wanted, like getting their first few clients in the agency. So it just showed up in other Facebook groups where there were other agency owners and just commented, made posts, all of that stuff. And then they moved to my personal profile and then to my Facebook group where I was creating content and nurturing them. Like don't overcomplicate it. And main yeah. thing is like what Doug did was in his group, super vulnerable and was like, yo, I'm at this much in my bank account. I'm just starting out, but I'm gonna make this bad boy work. And you did, right? So be share your, share your journey, be vulnerable. And uh, yeah, GGMB is a great place to start yeah. for the actual tactics yeah. along that way. Educate people, entertain them, and inspire them. And that's it. That's all you really need to do. And the best thing I've learned from working with Andrew too is like when we talk about simplicity, marketing can be complicated. I mean, I'm in the funnel world. You ever see some of these funnels? They're insane. <laughs> <laughs> I've never collected one email from a funnel. I have a course called Sales Funnel Mastery, and I've never collected one. Well, I shouldn't say that. I sh most of my emails come from my Facebook group. It's a social profile. They join my Facebook group. I ask for their email address to give them value, and they join my group. I've built my entire list of over 10,000 people with that structure. So um, it's just funny. So my whole point there is like it comes down to three things, and this is something I learned. My biggest takeaway probably from um, Seven Figure CEO is, um, with the, at least the marketing segment, is content, right? So lead content. Nurture content, conversion content. If you master those three things, you're solid. You're solid. It doesn't matter what your funnel looks like. It's just that process that make it simple as it could possibly be. I love it. Yeah, and that's that's Avery's I, uh, training IP. Uh, he's it's cool. Our, one of our yeah. coaches inside of uh, Seven Figure CEO. Uh, what course is that? Is that your course, Doug? Uh, yeah. GGMB is um, Group Growth Monetization Blueprint. That is Andrew Cruzy's 
course. Cool. Yeah. I'll drop the link down below. Yeah. That's uh, your core offer, right? That's like your in, in well, indoctrination. Yeah, it's interesting. Here, I'll drop it down below. Um, I think it's a hundred bucks off today. But uh, core offer, I would say, is seven figure CEO now, where that's where I see the industry go. Like, we're in the coaching industry, or right? like that's our, our niche. So there are a lot of people in the coaching industry now that are at that six figure mark looking to scale to seven figures, and that is just going to grow, grow, grow. So, and that is like where we're really, really good at. Um, so that's like our core offer now. Now it can oscillate between the three offers that we have, group growth and monetization blueprint, authority accelerator, seven figure CEO, but it really comes down to where's the market currently at and where do we need to, where do we need, what do we need to go after, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so what would you say, uh, what is the number one thing that you've taken away from a coach inside the program, being Sarah Tempty or Brad Newman or Avery Ford or Kai. Uh, yeah, I think because um, I'm starting to get into the sales portion now. Because uh, honestly, guys, um, for what I'm selling, I've never really gotten a sales call before because it's a 997 offer. And um, I've been able to sell it through Messenger and just outreach and things like that. But um, as I grow in this business, and for me to give my time up, as much as I am right now in the 997 course doesn't make complete sense. Um, I want to do that, but I believe that the value that I'm giving is worth more. So I want to, you know, and I'm going to be doing this very soon is launching a 5k uh, coaching program. So phone sales, right? To sell someone $5,000 is a lot of money for someone starting out online. Um, but my goal is to get them into my core offer, get them making some money online, and then they could see that th this is working and they can invest in me to actually get access to me, access to my calls. Um, so I think working with the sales training in your program, it's it's flawless. It's so good. And when I'm preparing to craft that skill, um, I know Brad Newman's training is just amazing. So it's, it's just, I, I, and you said even his messenger scripts alone, like has taken my business to a new level. Selling a 997 offer in just a Facebook message, like that's kind of wild. <laughs> so. Yeah, and then when you're ready to build out your sales team, there it is for you as well. well yeah, um, exactly. Yeah, so I love it. I, I love how we have people selling 50K packages and people selling 997 inside of the seven figure CEO yeah. program and kind of having that diversity there. Mm -hmm. uh, but awesome. Guys, if you have any more questions, drop them down below for Doug. Uh, Brad says I win. I mean, uh, that's a Brad. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, if you have uh, one piece of advice and we've one different piece of advice um, besides what we've already gone through for somebody who was in your situation before, uh, let's say before joining Seven Figure CEO or yeah. Forty Accelerator Elite at the time, kind of you have the course off the ground, you have the Facebook group, the next step. So, what would your your piece of advice for that person who already has an offer, has a has an audience, and is thinking about Seven Figure CEO? What would you say to them? Yeah, if you are ready to change your life, like literally, um, if you have your offer already, what's going to happen is you're going to join Seven Figure CEO. You're going to craft that offer and make it 10 times better. And that's through your copy, um, through your deliverability, your fulfillment, your your entire operations, like your whole system. Um, I mean, the way you guys break it down and organize each of those parts is, is just amazing. And, and it makes it easy to learn and implement those strategies. And even things that are uncomfortable for me. I'm watching other people do that in their businesses. And, and everyone in your program, I'm pretty sure every one of them is like, crushing it like i see people doing a hundred thousand dollar months left and right and consistently it's just really amazing so i'm excited to get there myself but um yeah if you have an offer already you're going to join seven figure ceo you're going to make that offer even better and you're not gonna have to work so hard anymore you're not gonna have to do so much outreach because you're going to become known and then you're going to learn how to um use that leverage to grow even faster so that's one of the best things is crafting that and then focusing on the sales and then you can replace yourself there. Like right now I'm about to become the salesperson in my business and I'm excited to learn a new skill set. 
but I want to sit in sales forever because I want to run my business. I can't do that on sales calls all day, but I want to do it first. And then you could learn the process of hiring a team to come in and do that for you. And then you could, like, what I want to do guys, I want to wake up every day and, you know, create content and, and educate and coach. Like, those are the things that CEO, well, I don't know if that's a really CEO role, but that's what I like to do. Um, and as you hire and you replace yourself in those positions, it's it's just a whole new ball game. Um, so I think the biggest thing for me is like just the mindset around making a million dollars. It sounds like a lot of money, but when you learn these systems, it's you know the numbers you have to hit every single day, every single week, every month, and it's not that scary anymore. So I love it. Yeah. Yeah. And Doug, I want to thank you for putting the work in. And like this has just been like a year and four months from that in your bank account to where you're at now. Yeah. And it's just super exciting to see where you're gonna go in the next year and the year after that, because it's just a compound effect. Like yeah. success is not linear, it's exponential. So yeah, super excited to, super excited yeah. to see that and work with you on that. Yeah, and one thing I want to add to that too is like, I know when I first started, even now, like sales funnels, like if I were to go tomorrow, I don't be known for sales funnels, right? But um, don't overcomplicate the thing. Like if you don't know what your big thing is that you're trying to build out online, like do the first thing, sell mm -hmm. click funnels, sell someone else's products, learn your skills, learn what you'd like to do and what you're good at, you're gonna find out real quick. And then you could find out what that looks like. Um, and then as like, I know right now, like, I don't know what the big, big, like our life purpose, like you can't think about that. It's going to overwhelm the hell out of you. And right now you just got to do what's in front of you. And the next thing will show its face. So, yeah, I love that. Like, that's how I started with agency. Then I was a uh, messenger bot guy. And then yeah. I was Facebook group guy. And now I'm scaling business guy. Like yeah. you, it, you change, you grow, you build these skill sets and it only comes through like taking the action to actually do it and having the right people to guide you. Um, Absolutely. But uh, it's been awesome to have you inside the program and continuing to work with you. Um, if you guys want to join Doug and the other awesome people inside of Seven Figure CEO or Authority Accelerator and just feel out if you're a good fit and we can help you scale, hashtag Seven Figure CEO down below uh, and we'll reach out to you. So just simply hashtag Seven Figure CEO down below. We'll reach out to you. Um, and Doug, what uh, one question that I love uh, is what didn't we ask you that we should have asked you? Yeah. Uh, well, something that just came to mind for me at least was a lot of you guys might feel like you're not ready for seven figure CEO. And I certainly wasn't, but we're, we're never going to be ready. You just got to do it because once you do it, like you're gonna start taking the steps to do it. And one thing I love about the program is you literally have someone contacting you every week saying like, Hey, where are you at? Like, what do you need support with? What do you need help with? So they're not going to let you fall off. Like they're not going to let you, you know, self-sabotage. Like we all we're human. That's what's going to happen. Like we're getting uncomfortable. We get scared and we, re we retract. So that's one of my favorite things about it. Um, so again, if you think you're not ready, you have to make the leap at some point. When I bought in the seven figure CEO, I was probably still like maybe in the GGMB phase, like, you know what I mean? But I would have never taken that step if I didn't see the opportunity and see the value and, and take that risk. And to me, it was this, the best investment I've ever made in my life, it's, you know, way better than college, you know, $140,000 <laughs> in college. I didn't even finished my degree. Like, come on, a quarter, not even a quarter of that guys. And, and you're going to be able to do the things that I'm doing. And I know if I could do it, you could do it for sure. I love it. Yeah. If you want to be surrounded by awesome people like Doug, awesome check out the CEO down below. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, if you want to be a part of Doug's Facebook group, um, if you are just starting out, I highly, highly recommend uh, selling affiliate. Uh, just like really just starting out, like that's probably the best place to start. Grow your audience, sell affiliate. Um, yeah. Hashtag Doug down below and we'll send <laughs> a link to his Facebook group. Um, shop. But uh, I don't see any more questions here. Uh, Leah says she misses, misses us both. What's um, up, Leah? But uh, Doug, thank you so much for being here, brother. And, yeah, thank you. Uh, let's keep rocking it together. Absolutely. Cool. See you guys. Bye, everybody.